Hey y'all, what's up? I'm Chris. I'm Ben from Blackstone Cherry. And we're on MusicRadar.com. So this is my pedal board that I use live. Uh, it's pretty simple. You know, the, the tuner's the last thing in the chain. I've got uh, Swollen Pickle, Mark Tremonti Wah, my foot switch, uh, Delta Labs tube overdrive, my secret special death box, um, and I it's just super octave, OC3, and a MXR Phase 90. You know, DC power brick. And that's pretty much all I use as far as pedals go. Ben, however, <laughs> somewhat more complex, but still pretty simple. Because I'm really not that smart with gear. <laughs> Boudoua, which is cool because they don't make them. They don't make this kind anymore. Apparently, I just found this out. But this is the old one. Uh, back when they were an independent company, um, I got that. Dunlop Roto Vibe. Phase 90, of course. This is another cool pedal by MXR called a Blue Box. I love it. Um, it's kind of like a fuzz octave. Then the uh, OC3 Super Octave pedal, which is badass. This is just a uh, channel switcher. Rocktron Talk Box. And the cool thing about this Talk Box is that uh, it allows me to have my amp signal and the Talk Box signal going simultaneously. So I don't you know, have to choose one or the other. So it's pretty awesome. And this is the Octave pedal that is on all the time just for the top box uh tremolo pan pedal a micro amp which is kind of like a uh, a little bit of a boost and then a tuner and that's uh that's all my stuff so i'm using the uh the buddha super drive um, 45 series 2 uh and i'm running them through four buddha cabs i've got over there um ben's running the 3120 pvs this is his main and his backup Give it away. Uh, you know, we're 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 PV proud. Furman power conditioner. Yeah. And then uh, Sennheiser. Sennheiser wireless unit. Yeah. That's it's pretty simple. So um, back here, we don't use any mics on our on our cabinets. We're using uh, Palmer DIs, which is sending just a straight signal from the amp head out front. It makes it a lot clearer, a lot more uh, awesome. Then a noise suppressor, which is on my amp all the time, just because it's a little bit more gainy and we don't want a lot of hum and stuff like that. Um, and that's pretty much it. Pretty simple rig. Uh, looks like a lot, but uh, I hear it's not a lot. Jonesy, is this a lot? It's not a lot. It's Jonesy, our guitar tech. Say Hi. hello to musicradar.com. Hello, musicradar.com. It's a uh, tech. Jonesy could talk your ear off about tech stuff. He's so smart, way smarter than us. Here's the guitar vault. Chris yep. is gonna show you his. Yep. So uh, I've got a uh, 25th anniversary uh, Paul Reed Smith 245 single cut. Um, this was actually the second guitar I got from them. And I use this one in uh, the C-sharp tuning, which is down a half step with a drop D on top. Uh, they're great guitars. You know, the, the pickups I have in these are made by a guy named John Baxter. And uh, they're really, really nice pickups. They're really clean. They break up pretty well to it, high volume. And then I've got, I got the, this David Grissom uh, tremolo model, it's a signature model. And this is actually the last guitar I received from PRS. Um, but it's my favorite guitar. It's there's just something about the playability of this one. I use it in uh, C tuning, which is a full step down with a drop D on top of that. And uh, you know, I don't use the tremolo bar, but they come stock four springs in the back. Or no, there's five springs. So they come stock five springs, so it's it's not going anywhere. You know, as far as tuning issues. But uh, the David Grissom models are are one of the best PRS models made. And then I have. On the bus, I've got a blue Starla that uh, I use for recording on the bus, or if we need a backup, we'll run out and grab it. This is the first guitar I got from PRS. It's a uh, white 245 single cut. Um, and this was the, the, the match that lit the flame of me going solely to PRS guitars. I got this guitar and fell in love with their guitars immediately, and I've played nothing but them ever since I got the first one. So and then I've got one more I'll show you. Like I said, the other one's on the bus. This one is, uh, it's a Starla, but it's a Starla with a top, a stop tailpiece. So it's um, like, cause most of the Starlas have the Bigsby on them. But uh, this one, the Seafoam Green one, I use uh, for white trash meaner, killing floor, long sleeve gets tuned down to uh, a drop B tuning, which is B, F sharp, B, E, G sharp, C sharp. So it's tuned really low and it's actually the thinnest bodied of all the guitars, but I just really like the way it sounds tuned down that low. I've got another one of these that I use in C sharp that's on the bus. It's a Catalina Dream color. It's a, like a sparkly blue with the Bigsby on it. So 
Here are my guitars. First guitar, PRS SE model. And uh, they're only doing two finishes of these right now. And I have both finishes, because they're awesome. Uh, you use this uh, tuned down to B. These guitars sound really, 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 really good. And it's cool because they're affordable for young musicians, which is awesome. So that's that. I got tobacco burst. Very beautiful. Um, and I use this one in D. I have to remember what tuning. I use this one in uh, uh, for pieces clean free stuff. live because it sounds extremely good clean. So this is my favorite clean guitar. Les Paul traditional, which is uh, another awesome tobacco burst. Um, Les Paul, and I use this uh, for uh, C sharp stuff. That uh, sounds really, really good. It's got a bigger neck than I normally like, but it sounds so good, so that's why I still play it. Um, it's a great guitar. And then my main guitar that I use most during the show. You got another one on the bus, right? Yeah, I've got another one on the bus. Um, we brought a bunch over just in case, and it's a, a Les Paul Classic, a gold top. And this is my other Les Paul Classic. Uh, I use this one in, in C, and I use it to start the show, and I finish the show with this one. Is that the and one that's chambered? It's got all the stickers on the back. Got to have that. And this is a chambered body, so uh, it's extremely light, so it's a lot easier to play, especially when I'm wearing it a lot during the night, because uh, it's not as heavy. And it sounds really, really good. And these pickups are uh, high output pickups. I don't really like to change pickups if they already sound good, and uh, they're just really, really high output, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, this is my favorite favorite model Les Paul, the classic. Because I love the pickups and I love the necks. 60s slim neck. So I have smaller hands and it just feels a lot better to me. That's our stuff. Um, Hope you've enjoyed the tour. That we tour with. Guitars are a hot topic with us. and We could talk all day long about them and personal collections and things of that such. But that's it. That's our fun vault. And these yeah. drawers are just filled with cables and strings. Yep.